This is a video on chapter 5, part 3, solving simultaneous equation using the substitution method. So when, it, when you're given a pair of simultaneous equations like this, the first step that we do is to name them equation number 1 and equation number 2. Okay, so in this case, call this number 1 and call this equation number 2 for our convenience. The next step is to identify which of these equations has one of the variables as the subject of the formula, variables referring to x or y. So we are looking for an equation that says y equals to something or x equals to something. In this case, we see that hey, equation number 1 is of such a format, y equals to x plus 2. So we want to substitute the equation into the other equation. So we call it substituting equation number 1 into equation number 2. So we will just copy down equation number 2. However, every time we see the variable y, okay, we will replace it with x plus 2. So copying it down, got 2 and a 2. Then every time I see the y, I will change it. I will change it to become, in this case, x plus 2. So next, we have equals to x plus 1, equals to x plus 1. So this is the process of substitution. And now we want to solve it. Alright, so to expand it out, we have 2x plus 4 equals to x plus 1. Next step, x will be given by negative 3. So now I've got the answer for x, which is negative 3. And I need to find the corresponding value of y. So I substitute this value back into equation number I can choose to substitute into equation number 1 or equation number 2 but keep in mind that I want to find the value of y so it is more convenient for me to put it back into this equation because straight away I'll be making the value of y so doing the substitution we will have y equals to negative 3 plus 2 which gives me negative 1 so writing down my final answer we've got x equals to negative 3 and y equals to negative 1 next we want to check our solutions by substituting them into the original equation. You can choose to substitute them into both, but in this case, I will just choose to substitute into equation number 2 for checking purposes. Okay, so equation number 2 says 2y equals to x plus 1. So, having 2y equals to x plus 1. Left hand side, when I substitute the value of y, which is negative 1, I will get negative 2. The right hand side, when I do the substitution, I will have negative 3 plus 1, which is also equal to negative 2, which is the same as left hand side. So I know that my answers are correct.